Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to the Cheers. podcast. Oh, sweet. So we're, we're here. Okay. I made it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Proud to Present podcast. My name is Colton. This is episode number four. Uh, my good friend today is Drew Richter. He is Snowbird. 
A um, couple things on you, my friend. Um, we got, first of all, are you from Buffalo? That's the first thing I want to ask you. Oh, uh, man. Sure. I never say I'm from Buffalo. You don't? Oh, um, shit. I guess I, I, I say I'm from Niagara Falls, which people back home would probably say that's worse because it has a worse reputation there. Okay. But it sounds a lot cooler to me. Uh, well, I'm from like north of there, and it's probably closer to Niagara Falls. And I spend a lot of time there. So To a guy living in Arizona, Niagara Falls sounds pretty badass. Yeah. Like, I exactly. imagine you have like a tent at the, at right? the base like, of Buffalo the Buffalo is like... Buffalo is like the joke of the country. Oh, the bills and the snow, right? You hear Niagara Falls, you're like, oh, it sounds like a magical place. And it is. And people come from all over the world to see it. So I usually say I'm from Niagara or okay. Niagara Falls. I like that. Buffalo's on the way up. It'll be all right. <laughs> Football-wise, at least. A um, few things on you really fast, man. Um, big thing is Bandcamp. You have the Peace and Quiet EP on there. Yeah. Um, great EP. Three-song EP. Um, the song that I have to point people to uh, is Seasons. Uh, I... That having some artists on here having a great time but that's one of those songs that i just play over and over and over again <laughs> even after i get down here i'm just very excited about that um just to get started with you um you're doing a lot of traveling right now yeah um you're down here in arizona right now obviously from buffalo you guys drove down here what it what is that what does that entail how do you guys get down here what's the what's the path what's your um well let's see well we've been full-time uh, we live in like a motor home. So we've been doing that full time for a year and a half now or so. And what we'll do now is we'll kind of tour out. <clears throat> so we try to hit shows along the way. That'll change the path each time we've done it. And then we'll get down to like Arizona and we'll stay here for the winter and we'll, we'll gig here. And we're really trying to build up more connections here and make this bigger part of our, like at least half of our home. Right. Right. And we've made a lot of strides this year, but, so once it gets hot, we get to leave, which is nice. Which gives the snowbird title a lot. Yes, of, a lot of credibility. Yes. So then we'll we'll head back. And we'll probably work back. Usually about a month to do both things. So we'll work back and we'll get back there about June, and then stay there for the summer into early fall, and then kind of the same thing back. And this will be like our second trek back like that. So it's a completely different route this time, which is cool. We're going to get more Northwest, which we haven't been to. I'm yeah, so yeah. excited. That's, that's where I come from. So what, what is that? What it, I guess the first thing I want to ask you is what, what do you be seen out there? You know what I mean? You do a lot of traveling, you do a lot of moving. What, what do you, anything gets you excited anywhere you go? Really uh, just man, shock your heart, make you feel good. A lot of it's great. Uh, I love the Southwest though. Yep. So I love being in Arizona and we spent a good amount of time last year in Utah Time in California and a little bit through Nevada, um, New Mexico. I started to like that a lot. So honestly, this region is like probably my favorite part of the country. So what is it? What just, is it that draws to you to this? The, I just there's a spirit about the desert and the mountains and being out there. It's and a lot of that comes in my songwriting. You can hear it. Um, so that's probably my favorite. I, we've seen the South and that was cool. We saw some fun stuff. But I just I love it out here. Hell yeah, yeah. Except yeah. so when it gets hot. <laughs> so music background. Um, you've been playing for a while. How long have you been playing when you start? Sixteen years. Damn. Seventeen years. Ooh. Yeah. I know I should be a lot better, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So how'd you get started? What what man? I, I what got you excited? I started late. I always feel like, and I maybe not for guitar players. I think guitar players start. Well, most of them start when they're in high school. They right. like the bands or whatever. Girls girls but i never did anything with music as a child like i started playing when i was like 15 16 and i never did any sort of instrument as a kid in school i never like sang and then i guess just singers and um songwriters and bands just started like waking me up and i just was like oh man this was like hitting me in a spot i want to do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it was like from where where we are like I said, Niagara, we're pretty much right in that corner in New York, right next to Canada. And people will joke that we're Canadian, but we were very influenced by like uh, Toronto music scene mm -hmm. and the whole, that whole region. Cause we get Toronto's uh, radio, the rock radio. Okay. And that's, that's like what we grew up on listening to, you know, and uh, bands from the UK as well. That's what I listened to growing up. So it's, I, I come out here and nobody usually knows any of these references. And right. Most of the stuff I listen to is, it's from the last 20, 30 years. Like, yeah, I've heard all the older stuff, a lot of it. But, like, people are like, oh, what are your influences? And I, I'm like, well, you're not going to know any. Let me name some. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, like, and they'll just name, you know, like, 
the ones everybody knows, like, oh, it's, it's like Zeppelin and, you know. The Beatles. Those, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, those guys are cool, but that's like not what, that's not what made me. Right. Uh, singers of what drew, drew me in first, I think. And from back there, it's people like, uh, like Matt Good was somebody I listened to a lot when I was like in high school and Big Wreck was the band. Uh, Ian Thornley is an incredible guitar player and singer. It's just crazy. We just saw him in LA actually a couple of weeks ago. Wow. Yeah. And then bands from uh, UK, like my favorite band in the world still probably is Biffy Clyro. Biffy Clyro, yeah. Yeah. And yep. they just, I've seen them sing six times, mostly yep. out here and just. What's the lead singer's man. name? His charisma is just... Simon, Simon Neal. Oh, his charisma. he's just so beautiful, though, yes. too. Like, yes. Ugh. He's like, that's what you want to be if you want to be a rock star. Just, like, just defines rock star. Yeah. Well, whether it's his jumpsuit or just barely wearing, <laughs> wearing any clothes at all, it's just like, yeah, dude's a badass. Yeah. Dude is just a badass. Yep. So, a few things I want to get into with you. So, first of all, what songs are you doing for us today? Uh, Superstition Grounds. Um, and that one's cool. That's really a, a lot about this area. I was just, I was going to get into that with you. I figured yeah, yeah. you might've picked it up being yes. from here. Yep. Um, legend of the lost Dutchman gold mine superstitions, all those That's down the street. Yeah, up here. That's right, right here. Street. So yep. like I said, that, that spirit of all the, the, Oh, I guess the West still, it's yep. still, it's still here, you know? Definitely. And so did you write that while you were here? Was that something you did after you moved down here? Obviously. I mean, that's yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I, I slowly wrote that. I think I wrote that actually like when I was back in Niagara, but just thinking about a lot of the stories and it, that song slowly came about and I probably spent like a year on it. You know, I have always modifying it. Right. Some of my songs are like that where I like, I kind of get them the point. That's the idea. And I'll just let it take its time for a couple of weeks, six months, a year, two years. And some of them I write them in five minutes and they're done. So right. that one, yeah, it's just, it was just, I'm trying to, I have a, a whole group of songs actually that I'm trying to capture the spirit of like the West and it's like Arizona is so overlooked in the rest of the country. Yes. <laughs> People yes. don't understand. They don't like us down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like us. It's okay. As we waited for the things we lied about To flow to the surface Cause they always do without Shadow or doubt Maybe you're still holding a form of lover Deep in your heart Maybe the truth about me and my brother And where we got our start So I waited for Car up and headed west, driving to that shore. So the truth is, I'd been my tongue for way too long on that issue. I had repressed all of my songs because I miss you. And I'd almost pushed things way too far to. Taking what you've been saying to seriously. Nobody's chasing after you now. Oh, can't you see? Nobody's taking what you've been saying to seriously. Nobody's chasing after you now.
Um, so with that, sorry, are you looking, working towards a new EP? Or are you working towards some new music? What are you thinking here in the near future? Do you have any idea? Man, uh, I'm always writing new music. Yep. I have a ton that I would like to record. The last few times I've tried to do that, it just hasn't lined up, whether it's just the timeline where we are moving along finances. I don't know. I'm hoping soon it's definitely overdue. Right. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I got I got yeah. I got to ask you man and 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 very different with you than any podcast that, that I've done. Um uh, you know you you kind of mentioned it as kind of a weakness um not having a lot of social media but but to me I find the ability to be able to disconnect to be able to find yourself and to really be away from that is a release that a lot of people wish they could do and and they can't do. And yeah. and, and to be honest with you a lot of the things that I was I was hooked on when starting the podcast was people who just pursue who they want to be and what they want to do. And that, and, and that's a big one. That's hard because society tells you, you know, you need to have this, you need to, but, but you've allowed yourself to be more free. Where does that, where does that put you? What does that, how does that make you? Oh yeah. I wouldn't say weakness. I, I think I just meant, um, it can affect me negatively, like promotion wise sometimes, right, right. or I mean, it's, it's more like some people are so boxed into thinking like if you don't exist on this, fake thing that isn't real right then you don't have anything going on or you're not a real person like right they've people have gotten so like blind that they can't just see you as a real human if they can't look up your stats and like what's going on and this this image of what you're projecting which is fine don't get me wrong if if you use it as a tool it can be great but right. it's i love not being on it and the more i just hear stuff from people just complaining about different social medias and the drama and the just the I don't know it's it's just like toxic I guess a lot Definitely. for me I, it's like I have peace of mind and clarity pretty much every day and I, I I'm unaware of these things right these like little spats and these like this drama that's ensuing between people it doesn't exist well and I think a lot of social media too is comparison you know what I mean you're in yeah. your daily life I'm having a good meal with my family we're having you know whatever and then all of a sudden you see someone's having you know lobster and steak and they're on the beach and you're like I'm not doing it well enough you uh, know what I mean you're like no 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 so it's, a, it's, it's a comparison tool okay. is really what it comes down it's to it's so unrealistic it's like people hear a great recording right and they're like wow these guys are just the best um, you didn't hear all the horrible takes, uh, the 20 years or whatever of them trying to make a good recording. Right. You just see one thing and assume that this person was just amazing from day one. They have no flaws. They can, they, man, you hear that guitar part? The guy never messes up. Right. And some of those, for some people, it's true. But most people's like, yeah, it took I mean, them 100 takes. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> to right. To get it to sound that good. And it's been through eight filters and. The dude that's the dude pushing the buttons is making it sound good. So I don't know. It's that yeah, that whole comparison thing, though. It's just it's stupid. It just plays into human insecurities. I think. <laughs> could I well ever be the one to break it down I'm not powerful enough oh but I still try I try to do my best but in the end it's just a human in this chest oh I flood, yeah, but there is strength. Let's see how far this resilience goes today. Oh, we push the limits. Our work could be done. Speak it in your heart, and then you've won. Speak it in your heart, and then it's done. 
To all you ever wanted All you've been working for Come on and work it now that I will I have overcome this condition into which we're all born I force the limits how I could be one spoke it in my heart now it's done spoke it in my heart now I've you ever wanted all you've been working for go on and work it now to all you ever wanted to all you've been working for oh you can work it oh you should work it out oh you should work Right, man. So let's go into your show schedule really fast. Um, April 22nd at the Even Stevens in Arcadia. Yep. Um, and then I got you down for April 27th at My Wine Cellar in Chandler. Yeah. It looks like you're playing from 7 to 10. Yeah, that's a fun gig. They're really nice there. And I found that we've got some pretty good music appreciators coming out there. People nice. that want to sit and listen. I've played there three or four times now. And every time I've had at least one person or group of people like sit and hang out after and talk about music and that That's why those, you do it. and those are the gigs you want. Yep. Like those are, those are few and far between. Yep. And I, that's another thing. I don't think people that don't do music, like perform, don't understand. I don't know. It's like anything else. People have perception of how things are, but those gigs are, that's what it's about. That's what inspires you to keep playing and like keep right. writing. That when connection you, to people. People ask to... about your songs and like, that's great. You can yep. explain a story. I don't know. Yep. So yeah, I like playing there. It's good. It's a good vibe. Very nice. All right, y'all. So check out Snowbird. Um, he's on Bandcamp. That's the best place to find him. Um, the Peace and Quiet EP is on there. Like I said, seasons go right to it. Um, it is the jam. Um, on Spotify, we do have the Proud to Present playlist. It's just something else to throw that back out there. Something to keep an eye on there. All of our artists will be on there. Um, please subscribe to the Proud to Present podcast. Um, YouTube, iTunes, wherever um, you get your podcasts from. Check back next week. We got another really good episode. And uh, as we say every week, do something to make the world better. Uh, we're all fighting with each other. We're all arguing with each other. And, and honestly, we all just want to be loved and we all want to be on the same team. So do something to be the change and uh, have a great week.